there exists a big confusion among the dentists which file should be the first file to be introduced into the root canal after access cavity preparation. The common misconception is that it should be always a 10 size K file. In most situations the answer is no. The root canals does not always have a fixed size and shape. Sometimes the canals are so wide, sometimes the canals are so narrow. How come we use the same file in both the situation? To make it more confusing, the textbook always suggests that we should always enlarge the root canal 3 to 4 times bigger from the initial apical file. If there exists so much confusion how to select the initial apical file then how come we decide to enlarge 3 to 4 times from the initial file? This is how I select the first file for RCT in my practice. I follow the following criteria before choosing the first file. First, I will be looking into the type of the tooth, whether it is a central incisor, canine, premolar or a molar. If it is a single canal tooth, it always have a wider canal. If it is a multi-rooted tooth, it always have a smaller size canal. The second criteria that I follow is to evaluate a good preoperative radiograph that will give us idea about the size, presence of curvatures, calcifications or pulp stones in the root canal system. The third criteria that I use is to check the presence of curvatures. Although radiographs cannot depict a curvature well, we could assess the curvature in most situations. The fourth criteria that I follow is to check the age of the patient. Younger patients mostly will be having a wider canal compared to that of a older patient. The chances for calcification, pulp stones are less with an younger patient compared to that of an older patient. The fifth criteria is to look into the diagnosis. Long-standing traumatic cases will have well-calcified canals. Long-standing carious lesion most often will have the presence of pulp stones. The sixth and the last criteria that I follow is the ability of the file to bind at the apex. In order to understand this, I have magnified the image at the apex. We could see the cementum, the dentin and the pulp tissue. The apical foramen does not always exit at the tip of the tooth it will be usually around 1 mm short of the anatomic and radiographic apex. So the position where the pulp tissue ends and the periodontal tissue starts is called the minor constriction and which is the narrowest portion in the root canal system. That should be the position where we should be looking to stop our cleaning, shaping and obturation procedure. Whenever we are inserting a file inside the root canal system, that file should bind at the minor constriction, that is, with a knowledge about the average length of the tooth and a tentative working length radiograph and a well binding at that position, that is, the minor constriction, we will be able to confirm the initial apical file in all cases. Initial file is not a fixed file size. It varies between each tooth. It varies between each canal. It varies between each individual. So thus the misconception the 10 size file should be the initial apical file will be wrong in most circumstances. Select the initial apical file individually for each and every tooth and if this selection is wrong, your entire cleaning and shaping is going to be wrong 
and your obturation is going to be wrong and ultimately the root canal treatment is going to end up with a failure. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel.